I'm Steve from This Week With Cars, and this is my full-size Bronco that I bought a couple weeks ago. Today I want to do a few things to address the valve train noise that this engine has, and tomorrow I'm planning on going down to the local off-road park. I got a set of BF Goodrich mud trains that I'd like to put on before I go down there, so I want to get these tires off, put these ones on. And unfortunately, that's all the changes I'm going to have time for, but at least we'll be able to see the difference between these tires and the tires that I took there last time, and then any other future changes that I make to the truck. I think a set of good tires is the number one modification that you can make to your truck, so that's what I'm gonna do first. On these old Ford motors from about 1978 and newer, the rocker arms and valves are not adjustable, and there's a lot of slop in the rocker arms here, so I'm taking off the rocker arm pivots and shaving them down on the mill to take all the slop out of them because the pivot and the rocker arm are worn. You see how much movement that is there? So after all the pivots are shaved down, all the rocker arms should be nice and tight. And this engine should run a whole lot better. Everything's back together and when running the engine, the valve train is much, much quieter now. The noises don't translate on the camera very well, so that's why I'm not including a before and after video of that. Hopefully the next time I'm working on this truck, I can clean up all the wiring. There's just connectors everywhere, just all over the engine bay that don't really go to anything. So I don't think that I need even a fraction of the wiring that's running through here. Now I just have to do that three more times, but I'm already loving the look. Well, it took a while, but I have all four tires mounted and the wheels on the truck. I think this looks fantastic. These tires are 35 inches tall. I thought about going to 37s, but they weren't in stock. Maybe that'll be an upgrade I make in the future. So I'm gonna go home and get some sleep and I'll be right back with you 
which for me will be tomorrow, we'll take the Bronco, as well as Cassie's Land Rover that I just upgraded, down to the local off-road grounds and we'll see how they do. Well, it's the next morning and Cassie and I have our newly outfitted vehicles, the Bronco and the Disco 2. I didn't expect it to be raining and misty, but that means it'll probably be pretty muddy out there and a lot of fun. So let's go down there, see if we get stuck. So what are my first impressions of driving it down? Well, it certainly seems like it has more power than it did before, so I think the valve adjustment helped out. And it certainly seems like it's smoother because these tires are round. I think that the other tires had sat flat for so long that they were very flat spotted. I was uh, jumping all over the place with those old tires. And with these big tires, this truck has no problem going up hills. I don't have to really give it any more gas. I can just keep it at a steady constant throttle and it maintains the same speed. Well, it's pretty muddy today. It's lying all over the place. So far, the truck is handling it though. I can see behind me Cassie sliding around in the ruts. Right now I think there's seven of us out here. I know a lot more people are coming. This looks a lot different than the last time I was out here. This was all covered in snow. There we go into a pretty muddy section. Just going to take it slow and steady. Okay, it looks like this Jeep has gotten stuck here. The Jeep is kind of wedged between two trees. There's, I don't think there's a whole lot of movement he has there. We'll probably have to pull him up. just replaced that like yesterday. Yeah, I know. <laughs> You're buying the next one. No, I'm not. A lot of mud down there. <laughs> they can change their mind. going anywhere.
pretty slick out here today, especially since we were just playing in the mud. to leave a little early the alternator stopped working on the Bronco so I got a jump start to get it started again got a little charge and was able to make it home without the alternator working did you have fun today yeah did you get stuck no I did not did you break anything yes did you get to use your winch no did you want to yes well maybe if we would have been able to stay there longer we could have got you stuck and then winched you out of something but uh, I guess we'll have to do that next time. Next thing up on the Bronco, I guess, is to sort out that terrible wiring. So if you want to see more videos like this, comment below and click subscribe.